Script preparation. All right, so first off, let's set up scripts. Number one, this is my side scroller directory. And basically, this is where I left you off in the assignment. And this is the scripts directory. And within scripts directory, I made a new folder called damage. I copied the following files into damage. First person player, rocket, rocket launcher, and sentry gun. Okay, that was from the first person shooter. Next, I copied all the first person miscellaneous scripts. These, I'm not really even worried about. Um, I don't want to learn these. I just want to learn how to make a life bar. So, the miscellaneous scripts are needed because at the end of the level, or when I get shot, and I'll show you that here in a second, the level fades off. Okay? Oops. All right, now... What I want to do is show you what I am looking at as far as what's important, what's not important. Okay, here's the first person player. And let's see, maximize on play. Let's hit play. All right, so this is a really, it's a really kind of cool level, but it needs some work. But if I run around, I got this guy. And he shoots rockets at me. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, he can't aim very well. I don't think he's fast enough. I could probably dodge these all day long. But if he does hurt you, down in the, in the left-hand bottom of the screen, you'll see a life bar move. Okay, That's what I'm concentrating on. Not him. Not what he looks like. Not how he aims. The other thing is this guy. He's a sentry gun, and he moves on the Y-axis on his pedestal. And when he does, he shoots you with this magical sprite that you really don't see other than a muzzle flash. And it does hurt you. Okay, now, when things do shoot you and kill you, like this, I'm just going to let this guy actually kill me. You'll see, as the life bar goes all the way down, It goes to white and then goes back. That's exactly what I want. I want that. So, and I have two different effects. Actually, if I fall, it goes back to the beginning of the level. And if I die, based upon some asset in the game shooting me, it turns white. Two different effects, two different death sequence. All right, now. With my videos, I usually, what I do, I lower it down to the lowest common denominator, and I, I kind of go in there and show you exactly what I delete. This one, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I will show you what I did to learn um, what I did. Okay, and here is the sentry gun. He basically shoots you, and you die. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to look at that and how it worked and not worry about any of the other stuff. Okay? So if I was to be the beginning student, that's what I would do first. Now I'm going to spoon feed you some information, but because I want to concentrate on scripts and be able to kind of look at scripts and rip scripts apart. Because what I don't like about this, this thing right here, is what I have is a first person player that has the first person player script. And you can see that it runs off maximum hit points. Bullet GUIs, health GUIs, walk sounds, pain. Okay, so I'm saying that this script is doing a little bit too much. We're going to make a script that only deals with the health bar. Okay, that way I can make that a universal thing that I can use on all my games. So please have ready the uh, 2D side scroller. You should be able to open it. Open project to deal with health. So this is where I left you with the assignment. And you should have this. And you should also have those scripts now in here. Damage. Okay. And 
miscellaneous. All right, move on to the next video.